there, I'm Cara Pryor, president at James Publishing, co-founder of James Marketing Amplifier. I spend most of my time these days talking to attorneys about how to materially improve their marketing results. That's why I'm super excited for today's session, which is all about showing you proven law firm marketing campaigns. You know, it's true, as a lawyer, you don't need to invent new digital marketing tactics. You simply need to sort of catch up to the rest of the online marketers outside of law and really just adopt what is already proven to work for them, right? Most small law firms I speak with, in fact, the vast majority of the firms that I speak with, lag so far behind with their marketing that if you simply employ what have become sort of standard inbound marketing techniques, you'll really vault ahead of your competitors and certainly increase your flow of qualified leads as well as your flow of new clients. And the beauty of inbound marketing is that you create campaigns one time and they deliver leads and new clients year after year after year. So in this concise 30 minute session, we're gonna get down to business. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'll walk you through the four most important campaigns to set up at your firm. I'll show you complete examples for multiple specialties and show you exactly how they work to impress and nurture your prospects, welcome and reassure your new clients, keep you top of mind and referable with past clients, as well as demonstrate your expertise for professional contacts. So really excited to dive in. Let's go ahead and get started. Part number one, impress and nurture your prospects. Don't expect a prospect to jump from a three line Google listing to retaining you. Too many lawyers rely on simplistic and frankly, ineffective marketing techniques. So, you know, relying on a few words in a Google ad or listing to generate calls leads to lots of unqualified leads, prospects who are lawyers shopping, and in the end, low conversion rates. So instead, you should be walking your prospects sort of step by step through your educational marketing funnel so that when they come to the end of that funnel, they one, understand their legal issue and how it can be addressed, of course, but two, want you specifically to be the one to solve their legal problems. So you see on this slide, your prospect has a major legal issue. For instance, perhaps their finances are collapsing. A parent has COVID, might not survive. They have no estate plan. They are in the hospital after an accident or a serious injury. Their marriage is falling apart. They were arrested and jailed. Do you really think that they're going to put their legal life in your hands after reading just a few words on a Google ad or listing? You know, that's not likely and, and it's not helpful to kind of think that way. So now what I'm gonna do is actually walk you through a four-step process for designing and creating your own educational marketing funnels. Step one, identify and target several micro niches. So the big advantage here, the big advantage to targeting a niche audience is that your offer stands apart, right? It's unique. Everyone wants to hire a lawyer who has successfully handled and ideally specializes in their exact legal problem, right? Of course, that makes sense. So for example, a business owner whose marriage is collapsing has very special, very specific concerns. Will he have to sell the business in order to, in order to divide mar the marital estate? You know, that's something to consider. Or will his ex become a hostile shareholder and director who battles him at every board meeting? So if you speak to those specific concerns, when a business owner sees your educational materials, you will certainly stand out from every other divorce, divorce lawyer by specifically tackling that niche. And, you know, the same targeting of these sort of micro audiences can occur with every specialty, right? So simply select some categories in which your ideal clients sort of cluster around. Here are some examples uh, on the screen now of sort of narrowing your audience in other areas of practice. So when we talk about bankruptcy, this could be laid off workers nervous about losing their homes, estate planning, perhaps worried about the pandemic and without trusts. Personal injury, accident victims with brain injuries. An example for family law, business owners facing divorce. Criminal defense, truck drivers with DUIs. So ideally you'll pursue several different audiences within your given specialty. Step two, offer educational materials aimed at these micro niches. 
So we use booklets and books to attract and educate prospects, but easier to create checklists, pamphlets, even videos can also work really, really well here. The trick is in the targeting, right? So you need to address these key specific concerns. What are sort of this micro audience's biggest fears? That's what you need to think about. Is it losing a home, having the kids fight over the estate, not being able to pay medical bills, maybe having a disgruntled ex as a business partner, losing a license and livelihood. Once you've identified desirable niches, create some content that explains how their top worries can be eased specifically, right? So we list some topic ideas on the slide for you now. Again, bankruptcy, laid off and worried about losing your home, read this free booklet. Estate planning, is your estate secure if COVID strikes? Four steps to take now. Personal injury, the brain injured can require medical care for years, how to cover your costs. Ooh, family law, your divorce could require you to sell your business or not, learn what makes the difference. And an example for criminal defense, does a DUI have you worried about losing your commercial license? Watch this video. Here on the screen now, I want to share with you a sample video. I'll play just a few moments of this so you can get a sense of what these videos are like or what they could be like. Let me play it now. You were involved in an injury accident and suddenly, through no fault of your own, everything has changed. You cannot work in the same way you used to. You have medical bills to pay and complicated insurance issues to sort out. It's no wonder you're feeling overwhelmed. That's where we come in. We are knowledgeable and experienced personal injury lawyers. If you were injured due to another person's carelessness, we can help you obtain compensation for the harm that was done to you. Here are five ways we help our personal in Okay, so that was just a quick little clip. You can see how a video can really help you kind of convey a lot of information in a short amount of time. It's a great option here. Another great content option, infographics. Here you're looking at three samples. On the left, how insurance companies work. In the middle, key events in typical Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 bankruptcies. And then on the right, you see an infographic called Requirements for a Legal Will. Infographics are wonderful ways to convey a lot of information in an uh, easy to digest, visually appealing way. They work really, really well on sites and social media as well. So another great way to kind of convey that content. So moving right along to step three, create a funnel that connects, qualifies, and offers a solution. So now that you have a prospect's interest in the information you provide, it's time to steer some of them to setting an actual exploratory appointment with you, right? But if you don't want to waste time speaking with unqualified prospects, who does? Ask a couple of multiple choice questions about the sort of degree and urgency of their legal issue. This will really help you prioritize your follow-up. Send the qualified prospects to a thank you page that then provides a link to your digital calendar. You want them to be able to schedule right there from your site while sending the unqualified to a thank you page without a calendar link. To get even more appointments, consider adding a request to call to your list of multiple choice answers, right? And have a team member call those folks as soon as possible. Here's a look at the funnels we build for our subscribers. Your offer should lead to a simple and targeted landing page like this one that essentially collects contact information and asks, asks a couple of qualifying questions, right? So here's a look um, at, at that here. Simple landing page, uh, collecting contact information, name, email address, and phone number. And then at the end saying, how immediate is your legal need? Again, helping with the urgency and degree of follow-up necessary. And here's a look at a sample thank you page. Again, your thank you page should ideally, one, point out that the information provided is necessarily general, but that you're available for a personalized discussion when they're ready. And two, provide a link to your digital calendar. Again, it's important to offer that digital calendar right here on that thank you page. So visitors, prospects can schedule a call with you or someone in your office right from your site all on their own. It's actually a really nice shortcut. 
Moving on to step four, nurture the undecided. In my opinion, this is the lowest hanging fruit. If you take one item away from this session, this is where you should really be taking your notes. So too many lawyers abandon the prospects who don't immediately set appointments. And this is obviously a big mistake and a huge opportunity. So folks who've downloaded your information or otherwise you know, contacted your firm, those folks are prime prospects. Don't ignore them. Set up a system to keep in touch. So a portion of them will really eventually sign if you stay in touch with content that's valuable, that's helpful, continues to demonstrate your expertise, and really shows you're caring, shows that you're ready to help. They might need a little bit more persuading or simply just need some time to decide what action to take. So if you're the one there providing them with that valuable information, they'll certainly remember you when it's time to, to hire an attorney. And if you abandon them, of course, they're likely to, to look elsewhere. The, the sort of highest ROI, the highest return on investment campaign you can put in place is a lengthy prospect nurturing series. If you spend your time creating one asset, it should be this nurturing series. You will immediately see traction from this series. So we use an educational series of emails that includes anywhere from 18 to about 20 letters. Some are lengthy, but all are educational. Your series certainly doesn't need to be this long, but just you need to start somewhere, right? So answer those common questions. You know those common prospect questions more than anyone. Just start to answer those, create a series that's automated that you don't have to manually create or manually send out, I should say, and get it started. Start sending those undecided through this prospect nurturing channel. And to that end, here's an example of a way to set up resources on your website to offer to those visitors who, again, may not be quite ready to book a consult or give you a call, but rather perhaps they have reached your site and they're looking to gather more information, get their questions answered, right? So um, rather than those folks kind of leaving without a trace, if you have valuable content, valuable lead magnets uh, to offer them in exchange for contact information, you'll be able to nurture the undecided. So here's a look at the resource, uh, a sample of a resource page. Uh, by offering these resources, you can kind of collect those visitors' contact information and again, kind of nurture them along, stay in touch until they are ready to sign up. Moving on to part two, welcome and reassure your clients. Do your new clients feel temporarily abandoned? I hope not, but it's more common than you might think. So put yourself in your client's shoes. You just signed up with an attorney you do not know. How long until some visible work product appears? Too many lawyers sign and then sort of ignore the entirely predictable buyer's remorse that arises due to the time gap between retention and when that visible work begins. So your firm may be working hard, probably is working hard on the, on the new client's matter, but can the new client see that work? Do they know that that work is happening? How do they know progress is being made if you're not communicating that progress on a regular basis? How do you do that? you fill the gap with reassurance content, right? So we use a welcome kit and a series of educational emails to avoid this kind of client remorse. But this is another collection of write once, use forever content. That's pretty cool, right? We recommend an introductory package, a welcome kit that makes that strong first impression, that ever important first impression, and then a 12 to 15 letter series that's ongoing that educates your new client, tells them what to expect, what will be expected from them, kind of what the process looks like, what you'll be working on first, second, and so forth. The welcome kit includes informative booklets. It could include your practice brochure, maybe a cover letter, again, explaining what's next. And the reassurance series of email, emails explain sort of the work being done and what lies ahead. In both, be sure to detail the work that your firm is doing and what challenges need to be overcome specifically. Your new client will be reassured that all is unfolding as it should and will gain respect for the difficulty of the job your firm is performing. It's all about staying in touch with those new clients. So to that end, here's a look at a sample welcome kit. This one includes informative booklets, 
a practice brochure, a cover letter. Yours doesn't need to include this much content, doesn't need to be quite this comprehensive, but having something prepared to welcome and inform those new clients is really what is critical and what you should focus on. So having something to present that will help them through that initial phase is, is the critical kind of takeaway to this piece. Part three, stay top of mind and referable with past clients. When was the last time your past clients heard from you? Can you remember? Do you know? On average, each week we speak with about a dozen lawyers about their marketing. The vast majority of those lawyers have no process in place for contacting past clients. Some don't even maintain contact information. Do you? Do you have an active email list? They don't stay in touch with their past clients and so they're quickly forgotten, obviously, right? But this is a major marketing mistake. Past clients can help you in so many ways from providing that constructive on-point feedback and positive online reviews to recommending you to their family and friends for referrals. You know, referrals, referrals are gold, but how do you kind of foster those with your past clients who are happy with your service? You have to remind them that you're around. Periodic calls to past clients certainly the most effective way to gain business and referrals from them but in my experience in my experience very few lawyers have that time to call their past clients so for most really the best technique for staying in touch is to send a monthly newsletter if sent digitally readership will be lower than print but it will also cost significantly less so consider your resources when you're considering either uh, print or digital and how frequent monthly is ideal but again i understand that that fully requires a decent time commitment so if you can only commit to quarterly that's okay too but try to commit to some sort of regular schedule so that your past clients start to expect and recognize the newsletter coming at a certain frequency. We use smarter living content for our past client newsletters. We kind of save the, the legal content, the legal specific stuff for the professional newsletters that we create, but it's important to include a nice mix of content in these newsletters. The whole point is we want people to actually read them, right? So let me show you some samples on the next slide here. So here's a look at some newsletter samples. Again, want people to actually read it. It's important to include a nice mix of content. This could include big case win, something interesting happening in your personal life or the personal lives of one of your staff members. Photos are great for kind of gaining that trust, but other article topics that seem to really resonate include seasonal articles, financial tips, kind of better living, uh, fitness advice, certainly recipes are popular. So try to create that nice mix and I think you'll get some really nice feedback from your newsletters. There's no doubt that newsletters are sort of old school, but they work. They're very effective in keeping you top of mind with those past clients and keeping you remembered for referral purposes when they have a friend or family who may be going through a situation where your services could really help them out. Part four, demonstrate your expertise to professional contacts. A newsletter is also the most effective way to stay top of mind with professionals, not only past clients. Building referral relationships with professionals is a long-term game, so remember that. But for our lawyers, we have set over 400 appointments with local professionals interested in discussing a referral alliance. So we have quite a bit of expertise in this area. We know what works, we know what doesn't. Even with nudging, it's hard for these lawyers to stay in, to stay in touch with their new referral partners and really nurture those new relationships. So in addition to supporting them with booklet and book giveaways, we provide substantive monthly newsletters, finding that it's the most efficient and certainly the most effective way to build and really maintain those positive relationships. So in addition to keeping the lawyers memorable, the newsletter really demonstrates the lawyer's expertise. So a steady drip of specialty specific informational content builds confidence in recipients that you know in your area, really, really establishes you as the authority. If your referral network, network is growing, which it should be, hopefully it is, then you will need an efficient way to remain memorable. A substantive newsletter provides that regular content and really steadily builds your reputa reputation as a lawyer with specialized expertise. And that's kind of the goal of this newsletter. 
Here's a look at a few sample newsletters targeting professionals. Wanted to show you these. Again, great way to keep top of mind with those referral sources on a monthly, ideally monthly basis, either digitally or postally mail. Okay, so I did want to mention if you want help implementing all of these campaigns, we do have an automated and mostly done for you marketing amplifier program. As our subscriber, you gain immediate access to our massive library of consumer books and booklets, including 100 to 300 page book, specialty specific booklets, fully branded in your firm's name with your contact information, of course, dozens of educational booklets, like I mentioned, monthly newsletter for both past clients as well as professional referral sources. So it's really content heavy. As a legal book publisher for 40 years, content is really what we hang our hat on here. We believe high quality market, marketing really does start with the highest quality content. And that's really the foundation of the program. The marketing amplifier system also includes automated sends to to uh, clients throughout the client life cycle. So to prospects, new clients, certainly to past clients, include shock and awe packages and nurturing series to prospects, welcome kits and reassurance series to new clients, that smarter living newsletter to past clients, as well as the substantive newsletter to professional contacts, all sent with a single click. So if you're interested, it's $2.95 per month. We do offer a 30-day $1 trial, so you can take it for a spin. Uh, but feel free to give me a call. I'll move this out of the way so you can see my contact information there. Uh, you can contact me. My direct line is 714-434-5926. Don't hesitate to give me, an, uh, give me a call or shoot me an email, kpryor at jamespublishing.com. I really appreciate your time today. Even if you just want to chat about marketing, I love talking about this stuff. Give me a call. I look forward to connecting soon. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.